Asylum. Yes. Do you expect the government to help you? Living. Living? Do you expect the government to help you with living? So, Nicole, there are a lot of issues out here, and they are taking this all-hands-on-deck posture. And there's the issues down here in the Tucson sector are a lot of um, different problems. Like there's an injunction down here that makes it so that Border Patrol has to work to get these individuals out of custody very quickly. So all of these people that you see right here, there's about 700 people still waiting here. They are not technically in federal custody yet. They are waiting to get into custody so that they can be processed and transported. Because as soon as Border Patrol receives them, the clock kind of starts ticking. Now, Nicole, this injunction was all about the humane conditions or inhumane conditions, rather, that was put into place in 2020. And so what they have to do is they have to get them out of custody as quickly as possible, because if there are any kinds of violations on that injunction, it could lead to a sweeping injunction across the southern border. So the Tucson sector is unique in that way, where they have a lot of different things that they're facing. And the terrain out here is impossible. They can't get buses out here. And so there are a lot of different things that they're dealing with, but we are seeing the impacts of this current surge directly impacting these American citizens, right? Because we are seeing the port closed there in Eagle Pass on the, the International Bridge 1. And then we're also seeing the backups here in Lukeville as well. Checkpoint at I-19 out there outside of Nogales, as well as a checkpoint here on 85 outside of Lukeville. Those are both closed to traffic as well.